Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here with Painted Kids and our drawing of the day is so cute and I it's, it's <laughs> another teacup animal. I know I've done quite a few of those on this channel. Um, this time I am putting a baby monkey in a teacup. So I haven't done a monkey in my schools for a very long time, so I thought that this would be a good time to bring the monkey back. Okay, so to start our monkey, and I'm working with Sharpie on paper, you guys might wanna work with pencil and eraser just in case you make mistakes, whether you're working on paper or canvas. But I'm starting with Sharpie, and I'm gonna start with the monkey's like snout, like the front part of his face. So I'm gonna put like a big oval, kinda like that. It's like a sideways egg shape, like this. And that's where our monkey's nose and mouth are gonna go. So the nose is just gonna be like two dots, just like that. You can color them in black, just like that. And then after you have the two little dots, we're almost gonna turn this into like a smiley face, unless you wanted a grumpy monkey, then you could do a frown, but if you put like a smile on here, it's like, like, a, like a smiley face that's been like squashed a little bit, because it's not a circle, it's like an oval, so it's like someone took a smiley face and went and made it small. All right, so here's our monkey's little snout with the nose and the mouth, and now we need our monkey's head. So the monkey's head is gonna go up and around, just like that, just like a big circle. And after we have that part done, we're gonna go ahead and put on the monkey's eyes. So the monkey's eyes are here, up above the snout, like that. And in my, uh, in my animals, I always do my cutie eyes, so I make, I make a couple little sparkles in these eyes before I color them in black. There we go, so there's the monkey's eyes. And then I always like to do monkey's hair like this. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna start down here, like a little bit in from the, the side of the face, but touching the snout, so like right here. And I'm gonna follow the curve of the head up, and then I'm gonna jump around that eye, and then I'm gonna go up and jump around the other eye and come back down. So it's just, it's like you're tracing like this, just in a little bit, and you're just gonna go up, and then you just jump around the eyes, like that. So it's almost like the top of a heart. All right, so this is our monkey's face, but we're missing our ears. So monkeys have circular ears, but they're not up top. Like, maybe like a bear's ears might be, or like a, like a cat's ears, or a bunny's ears are always like up top. So monkey's ears are a little more to the side like this, and I do two curves on each side. So I've got like the outside of the ear, and then I've got like the little pinky middle for the inside of the ear, like that. So now this is starting to look like a monkey. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have the monkey's face resting on his little monkey paws, and the paws are gonna be resting on the edge of the cup. So I'm gonna show you how we put this monkey in a teacup. So the first thing I like to do is that to draw the first monkey paw, I draw just like a curve, like right on the edge of like the neck or the cheek right here, and I do the same thing on the other side, just like that, just like that. And then I do, to do paws, I do one, two, three little swoops. Same thing on the other side, one, two, three little swoops. Okay, so those are a little monkey's paws. And then I want my monkey to be sitting in a teacup, but first, I'm gonna do a little monkey tail. So the monkey's body, we have to kind of draw that. So the monkey's body is just gonna be, you're gonna only see a teeny little peak of it, like right here. It's just gonna be a little line that connects this side of the head to this paw over here. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's just a teeny little line like that. And then we're gonna see the monkey's tail. So the monkey's tail is gonna be peeking out from back here somewhere, because the monkey's bottom is gonna be in the cup, so the tail will be kinda of down low in here. So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna come up, and monkey's have long, thin, curly hair, or curly hair, <laughs> I don't know, curly hair, curly tails. So that's our monkey's tail, just like that. It's like tall, skinny, and curly. Now we are ready for our teacup. So we've got our monkey, we need our teacup. So to start the teacup, I like to start up here on the cheek, and I go around, hit this paw, 
hit that paw around and I come back like that. Now this is a good time to be using pencil and eraser because it's really hard to get this, this oval shape right the first time because you wanna make sure that you hit both paws. You don't want your lip of your cup to come down here and you don't want it to be up here. You want it to kinda of hit the paws and then hit this paw and then come around and then break at the tail. So if you accidentally draw through your tail, no big deal. You, if you're working in pencil, you just erase this little spot. And then you wanna make sure that when you hit this side of the cheek that you're about at the same height as where you hit the other edge of the cup. So it's like this and it all matches. So you can tell that this is supposed to be like one big oval here, but we have the monkey's head in front. All right, so we've got the inside of our cup. This is the inside of the cup where our monkey's sitting. Now we need the outside of the teacup. The outside of the teacup is just a big letter U. That's it, super easy. And to make it look like a teacup and not a bowl, we need a handle. So I just draw like a big loop like that and a second loop inside so that we have something to grab onto when we're picking up our teacup. And then you guys can decorate this. So it's super fun to like, you do like polka dots or stripes or something. You guys can always um, add little extra decorations to your cups when you do these teacup animals. So I'm just gonna add a couple little extra details. There, we got some polka dots on there, that's perfect. All right, so we've got our monkey. He's sitting in a teacup. The only thing we need to add that's left is the table. So we want our teacup to be sitting on a table. We don't want it to be flying in outer space. So I'm putting on a line for the table. When you get to this point, you are ready to color. So you do not have to make your monkey brown if you don't want to. You can make it fun colors. So I'm gonna do kind of like fun colors. So I think I'm gonna make my monkey purple. And um, the way I usually do this is I pick like one color that's gonna be for the hair and the fur. So that will be like this part, this thing, I call this the hair, the top of the head, this little place here. And I'm gonna leave where his eyes are, I'm gonna leave that white. Um, you guys could color it in like maybe a cream color or something if you wanted, or even a fun color like pink, that's fine too. But I like to do the hair in the outside of the ears the same color. The other thing, and it doesn't matter if this is purple, it could be blue, it could be brown, it could be any color that you want, but I'm making mine purple. So I like this to all be the same color. I also like for the body to be the same color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put purple here and the tail. I usually like the tail to be the same color as well. Now, sometimes I will add a second color, kind of for the paws and the snout, just so that I have an extra color on here. Now, if you were doing this a little more realistically and you made like, say you're making like this dark brown, you could make this like light brown and these light brown. So really you can do these a couple different ways. You can really change it up. However you are you wanting to color it is fine. But I like to pick like a little bit lighter color. Like so I'm gonna pick a light blue and I'm gonna do the monkey snout like this. And I'm also gonna use the same color for the monkey's paws. So just like this. And then I always do my inner ears like this. I always do these pink. So I'm gonna go ahead, whether you have like a brown monkey or a blue monkey or a purple monkey or a rainbow monkey, I always do these inner ears like pink like this. And then we're ready for our cup. So the cup can be any colors that you want. So I usually like to make the outside of the cup and the inside of the cup a different color. Um, just so you can see the difference from the inside to the outside. So like say if I make the inside of the cup like pink, then I would probably make the outside of the cup a different color. So let me see, maybe like a minty green. That might be kind of fun. So then you can tell where the inside and the outside are. And then for the rest of this, you can go ahead and color it any way that you want. So I'm gonna do the whole cup like green, but then I also like to do the handle, so the handle will be the same color as the cup, so that will also be green. And the polka dots could be lots of colors. They don't have to be like 
um, all one color. So I might, you know, do like one pink and then I might bring in some of the colors that I used on the monkey. So maybe I'll do like some blue polka dots and maybe I'll do some purple polka dots. But I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and do the, the rest of this drawing any way that you want. Thanks again for joining me today. I am so glad that you guys are making awesome art at home and I hope you'll be back drawing with me again tomorrow.